Time begins. Thirty seconds used. One minute. One thirty. In the fifth grade, I took a trip to Fiji. There, while I was at Fiji, some of the people told me about a folktale they had about banana trees and monkeys. And it started with the monkeys trying to get the bananas from the banana trees. And so they would swing up onto the trees and they would repeatedly try to reach the bananas, but every time they would fail and fall back down. And so over and over again, the monkeys tried and failed. And this reminds me of today's quotation. The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet by Aristotle. And we can see that essentially what Aristotle is arguing is that learning is arduously difficult, but the application of it is wonderful and sweet. However, Aristotle is partly right but mostly just wrong. Because in actuality, education, if taught correctly and if shown correctly, is sweet, and the application even sweeter. And we can see this through two points. First, the, in the roots of education, the roots of education being learning and studying, and how if taught properly, that can be just as fun. And the second, about showing your, your, showing your knowledge and your education, and how that can be even sweeter. But first, the roots of education and learning and studying. So learning and studying aren't always the funnest things. However, they can be just as interesting and just as fun if done properly. We can see this in, first, in the first example in the LeapPad program. The LeapPad program is a book that comes with a pen. And every time you touch a pen to a word, it will speak the word. And so this makes reading a lot more fun for children of younger ages because they can take the pen and touch each word and touch each word and hear each word. And so by doing this, they are learning not only what each word means, but they are also learning how to say it. And because the voice is also excited about this learning, the children in turn become excited as well. And this makes their education much funner. Also, we can see this in the movie Aquila and the Bee. In Aquila and the Bee, Aquila enters a spelling bee. Now she has to learn a variety of different words, all of varying difficult levels. and it's quite difficult for her. However, when her mentor teaches her to, to study the words by jumping rope, Aquila, by jumping rope, Aquila learns the words much faster and is able to have more fun learning these words just because she's having fun doing it. And we can see that, we can see through the Leap Pad program and through Aquila and the Bee that learning and studying actually can be quite fun if you go about it in a fun manner. But moving on into showing your knowledge. Now, showing your knowledge can also be even sweeter than just learning or studying because you are actually able to show that you know something and that you can take your knowledge and apply it to something else. And we can see this first in the musical Legally Blonde. So in this musical, Elle has spent hours upon hours studying for the LSAT so that she can get into Harvard. When she does get into Harvard, 
Her brain sort of malfunctions and all she can think about is her ex-boyfriend. However, after she has rewired her brain and starts focusing on her studies and using what she knows and putting it on these tests and applying it to these cases, she, and I'm quoting a song here, feels so much better, much better than before. And we can see that through her application, that through the application of her learning, that Elle really does feel so much better and that, her that the application of her knowledge is far sweeter than even the process of studying. We can also see this in a more realistic example in the book I Am Regina. I Am Regina is a nonfiction book about a girl named Regina who is kidnapped from her biological family and taken in by Native Americans. Now, Regina has some serious reservations about killing animals for food because she never had to do it in the first place and also because she feels like she's not respecting them. However, the Native Americans teach her how to kill an animal properly, how to look for food, and also how to respect an animal that you've killed by using all of it and by honoring its spirit. And so when Regina has to actually kill an animal for her meal, it's twice as sweet because not only has she used the knowledge that she learned to fill her stomach and keep her alive for another few days, but she's also used her knowledge to respect something and to not go against her morals. And so we can see through Legally Blonde and Elle's application of law and through I Am Regina and Regina's application of Native American traditions that really the application of knowledge is even sweeter than the learning or the studying. And so this Fijian folktale concludes with the monkeys making a game out of, how to, out of learning how to get the bananas from the banana trees. They teach one another and they make a game out of it. And we can see that their game was fun, but the fruits of their labor were even sweeter. And so when going back to today's quotation, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. We can see that Aristotle was wrong and that the roots of education, learning and studying aren't bitter, but when gone about the right way are actually sweet, but the application of knowledge is even sweeter.